everybody, it's Ellie Diecast, and uh, if you've been watching the show, you know that we got back from Las Vegas recently, and every time I go to Las Vegas, I go to the Toy Shack, and if you're not familiar with the Toy Shack, you probably have seen it on TV, it's, it's a uh, well-known toy store in Las Vegas, and if you're not used to going to Las Vegas, or maybe you haven't been there yet, when you go, uh, the Toy Shack is on Fremont Street or it's called the Fremont Experience, or a lot of people just call it downtown Las Vegas. It's not on the Strip. It's in downtown Las Vegas. And uh, it is on, I believe, the uh, south... Well, let me think for a second here. It is on the uh, east side. The east side of Fremont Street. So... Um, and you could ask anybody. I think they'd know where it is. But it's been on uh, a couple of TV shows. And the owners are on... Um, oh, now I forgot the name. The the Pawn Shop. Las Vegas Pawn Shop. Pawn Stars. I think it's Pawn Stars. Um, but, um, yeah. Great toy store. And I've got some pictures that are probably showing here while I'm talking. But if you do go there... Make sure you take some money. They, um, the prices are kind of all over the place. If you're looking for something in particular, you're probably going to pay quite a bit for it. If you want to dig, and they got a lot of stuff to dig for, you can find some great deals there. Um, I think they kind of price stuff and just throw it on the shelf and forget about it. So if you, you want to dig, you'll find some good stuff. They also have a huge wall. Of old Hot Wheels, and then they have a wall that's probably about, oh, I'd say eight feet by eight feet that is completely covered in Super Treasure Hunts and Treasure Hunts. So if you're looking for any, they have them. Um, and uh, so I'm going to show you what I got there. At least I'm going to show you the basics that I got, and um, we'll go from there. So I'll show you the basics and the treasure hunts I got. How about that? And then I got some other stuff. I'll do another video on that. But we'll start off with this guy. Let me get everything um, in focus here. This is one that I don't see very often. It's the Dodge Ram 1500, the black version. And this one is from, uh, it is collector item 1045, but uh, from 19, about 1998, I want to say. On that so that guy's fun it's got the federal drug enforcement car that one must be a popular one so I hardly ever see it there's a treasure hunt and uh, the treasure hunts I probably paid oh probably more than I usually pay so that's why I picked up the older ones but I think this one was three four dollars uh, for this one yeah, it's about a dollar more than I usually pay but I don't see the older treasure hunts very often at all this is uh, Brutalistic. We've seen him before. This one in a cool flat green from 2007. So, is that 2007? I think that's 2007. Yeah, 2007. 2007 Treasure Hunt. Don't see those too often. Uh, we've got this guy, which when I saw this one, I was excited to see it. I... Um, don't usually see it. And I have all the Flying Aces, I think, except for this one. This is from the second series, the Deuce Roadster. This one from 2003. Some very cool details. I'll zoom in on this one because it's got some, uh, some cool details there that you want to see. There you go. Trigger Happy Nathan. I don't know who Trigger Happy Nathan is. Lieutenant trigger happy Nathan zoom back out next up we've got a Zender fact 4 this one I don't have I have a lot of these but I don't have this one so I picked it up uh, most of these main lines were a dollar to uh, to two dollars I think most of them were about a dollar fifty so I'll just keep buying the main lines for that price here's one I have never seen before uh, this one is the Metro Rail Nash Metropolitan, and uh, this one has again some some uh, detailing there on the back, 
It's 7175 Nash Metropolitan, but then on the front, it's got some Japanese writing. I think that's Japanese. So, kind of cool detailing. I love this car, but I've not seen this one before. Uh, Street Art Series School Bus. I might already have had this one. I wasn't sure, but I didn't want to pass it up. And uh, this one's got crazy tampos on it. Um, there, you can see them. Not sure what that says, but something power, attitude, speed, power, attitude. That's what it is. I think something transport down at the bottom. This one from 2000, or 1998. A very cool flat black um, 65 Chevy Impala. There you go. But uh, had some interesting tampos on it. Kind of a ripped fire flame type thing going on it. Very cool. Another treasure hunt. This one from 2011. And um, I thought I had this one, but when I checked my little excel sheet on my phone it said i didn't so um, it might be the only one i don't have from 2011. that's the studer studer baker avanti from 2011 treasure hunt a little bit newer one this was 2009 uh ford fairlane gt in aqua, not as old. Couldn't pass that though. A sixty or fifty nine Cadillac. Uh, this one we're getting some. This one's got like an inner blister there that makes it kind of hard to get a shot of. But it's got some real stretched flames on it. It's got the razor wheels. Very cool. This one, haven't seen it in a while.